along with plenty bad. But ugly is something I simply never had. A fucking bronco never stops kicking. So while the clock's ticking, here's the thing about the wicked. If you lay them to rest. The Outer Worlds has been rated M by the ESRB for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. It is approved for mature players only. Hey kids, this is Jack. Welcome to The Outer Worlds. Now, those of you who've been with me since the beginning know that I tried to play The Outer Worlds earlier, but it was a time when I was stupid and overloaded myself. I actually was trying to play 12 games a week, if you can believe it. Uh, like I said, it was stupid, it was ridiculous, and uh, I had to quit. But I always swore I'd come back to it, and here it is. Hope you enjoy. had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Um, I investigated the, dis the distress signal What's from that? Roseway. Speak up now. What'd you turn up? Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. <laughs> a shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Um, no, I don't think so. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Okay. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? Um... That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. All right. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I will look it up and find out what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I guess we go back to the unreliable. This is a bathroom. I 
See we had a conveyor pull in? One of them interstellar jobs. Hard to miss something that big. Guess your shuttle bay crews have been working overtime? Yeah, but they're happy about it. Been three months since the last one. Three months? I thought you said you made it. I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I messaged June Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. <laughs> I ought to go right back. I mean, I already did. Twice. But anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Oh, hey, cool. Okay, I get more skills. And we're going to put three there. 
and three there. And wrist there. Okay, and I get a perk. And like I said, I know I should eventually start getting into these, but I'm trying to fill out the ones up here first. Okay, Ellie gets perk. Increasing medical skill is always a good thing. Did she get another perk? Oh, she also gets another perk. What do we got? Yeah, definitely. Increase, uh, increase medical skill? Absolutely. Okay, so... I don't know how to complete this one yet. I'm going to look it up. Um... And I need to talk to her. We'll do that in a bit. Yeah. Okay, this time I'm going to take Felix and Ellie. That robot shooting at us? Last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson on my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was there. Her eyes were so full of emotion. I know that she feels but dares not show at work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it as tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson of her neck opened and as a second mouth and began screaming. When I awoke, I was scared. The dreams were so real and this time I recognized a face. I had to leave work early. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. Okay. Someone's afraid they're going to become a, uh, a murderer or something. There's a door back there. Well 
processing. I had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want and need the gifts I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade, a bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes and all the pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school, who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams, nothing outright. Oh no, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to characters in the books. I asked him how he'd help his character. He looked at me and, and he knew, he knew, he knew. The whispers told me to end his pain and that he'd tell, he'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him, not, not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell, tell, tell. They will come for me and lock me away, and I must find a secret place, a place I can be alone, a place with no whispers. Right. Whispers have a source, and I found it. I've taken refuge in an orbital relay station. It's a smaller than a, it's smaller than a worker's hovel, barely a thousand square meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies for four decades. It was strange being among common people on the Groundbreaker. 
The whispers barely stirred at the sight of their ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. If only there were a few, a fewer freighters docking here bringing real people from Byzantium, I could have almost made a home from, free from temptation. As I made this place livable as much as I can, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the ether to reach me, calling out to me to help them. Alone, lonely, needing my help, I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the ether, no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me. It's not, not. I'm not this foul thing that I feared for so long. Right, okay. Always remember, guys, loot everything. I was so wrong the whispers did not stop. They returned, they howl at me, demanding I return home and bathe streets in crimson. I can't think of one way to end this. Forgive me, Delilah. Okay, activate relay transmitter. Right, so we're done here. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Preferably not already filled out this time. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? See you soon, Captain. Alright, so... I have to take this back to the Groundbreaker. We needed to go to the brown, Groundbreaker anyway. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Cool. Remember that you are not insured. And that's it for this session of The Outer Worlds. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. It does help me with the algorithm on YouTube. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of my videos. I'll see you next time for more Outer Worlds. Bye-bye. 
for an awful long time So perhaps you have simply forgot what you signed Oh, honestly, did you not read the colony policy That defined you as company property That wavers your say in autonomy the con